Hey everybody, it's Sally. I'm here to greenlight my day. It is Friday, and I have a lot ahead of me on my plate. Um, and I wanted to just say, I feel like I've tried to make this video three times this morning. The bottom line is, <clears throat> sometimes it's a little intimidating to make these videos because you think, what if I, I have, I, I can't drum up something grossly inspirational every day, some new, you know, earth-shaking new way that I found to green light my day. I should just be reporting this, like a second person stepping outside of myself to saying, and now Sally is looking at Facebook and she's scrolling down all the things that she reads from the night before because she's been asleep and America's all been awake and I check in. she's checking in on her friends and she's seeing what inspirational memes there are out there and what her friends are going through and, and, and. And that's basically the way I have to approach this um, this participation in this program, in this video series, this blog that we do, because honestly, I would melt if I thought I had to come up with something exciting and new and different every time I had to make a video. My life isn't that exciting. I simply want to get up in the morning, open the eyes of my spirit, hear, um, something beautiful and step out to live in the moment by moment by moment of the day. That's all there is to green lighting. I'm not here to green light your day. I'm simply here to record how I green lighted my day on this day, in this moment, in this um, morning. And that's what I'm going to do. So what did I do this morning? Well, I'm trying to take a deep, slow breath and get my mind sharp and focused and calm all at the same time because I have a big party at my house tonight. And when I say big, I mean, you know, maybe 50 people are going to be here. And it's not my party. It's for my daughter and her uh, fiancé. And it's really mostly all his friends because she doesn't have any friends here in England except his friends and and really, it's a, it's for them. It's for them to have a little engagement party. So they just got engaged. They Anyway, I don't need to go into that. They've been intended to be engaged anyway. It wasn't a big surprise. But the party's been planned, and I've done all, a lot of work. So it's been very strange and stressful. And I have a lot of anxiety when it comes to entertaining because I expect it to be perfect or as close to perfect as I can possibly make it. And if I just squeeze myself a little harder, it can be all the better. That doesn't help me. It makes me crazy. So this morning, I'm trying to green light by finding peace and calm and being very positive. So I'm setting out my intention to the universe. Universe today, let everything fall into place and let me step back and just let it happen. Let me put my heart to the best possible attitude it can have towards those I'm trying to serve today. <sighs> and let me let go. Because I know that my intention is out there and I cannot control how the rest of it comes back around. I can only set out my intention and trust. And that's what I'm doing. So part of the inspiration I'm pulling out today is that someone had posted a wonderful video of Jim Carrey. Um, he's quite a profoundly spiritual person, and I so appreciate some of the things he has to say to the universe and to us, and I thought I would share that. I'm going to put a post, I hope, a link to this, uh, this blog clip, this tiny two-minute clip, because I'm sure if it encouraged me and greenlighted my day, greenlit my day, it can do the same for you. It's about the difference between hope and faith. He believes hope is um, not the best way we should be living. That's living not in the most positively affirmative way, whereas faith, you would leap over the, the coals without a moment's hesitation. Faith, I mean hope, you'd be hoping that the coals wouldn't burn your feet as you were trying to get through them as best you can. Such a funny thing, the little differences in words and how they can really help us see where we operate out of. Fear or love talks about choosing to live out of, with love 
as your intent and everything operates out of a place of love and not fear it's too much for me to unpack for you this morning I could listen to this video about six times and, and still not be able to absorb it all and it's short and it's simple and it's straight up but it's still it's still something really special I hope that it benefits you it certainly benefited me um, I'm going to let you listen to a little bit of it and then I'm going to go on and start doing all the things I need to do today uh, with love as my center and a tranquil spirit, hopefully, as I go through more kitchen work. You guys have a great day. Let me share this with you a second. Working toward it while letting go of how it comes to pass. Mm. Why not take a chance on faith? Not religion, but faith. Not hope, but faith. I don't believe in hope. Hope is a beggar. Hope walks through the fire and faith leaps over it. You are ready and able to do beautiful things in this world. And after you walk through those doors today, you will only ever have two choices, love or fear. Choose love and don't ever let fear turn you against your playful heart. Never let fear turn you against your playful heart. I hope today you will find your playful heart again and just be free. Think how fearless children are when they're racing ahead to something they're excited about or just want to be loving and giving. They, their energy just sweeps out in front of them. I hope that if you watch this video, you'll feel encouraged as I am. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you. Bye.